tonight, safety at the North Salem School District is what some parents want more of as they adamantly press the school board for a second school resource officer, even though the board already said no. Our Ben Nandy joins us live with the latest on this push from parents. Ben? Good evening. We're here right outside the high school and middle school library where the board meeting is just now wrapping up. The district has one SRO. And the board recently voted against adding a second 4 to 2 vote just two weeks ago. Still, these parents are not going away. These parents of North Salem students say it just makes sense for a school district with two campuses to have two SROs. And it really is a no brainer. Eric Bezzetto is not just accepting the school board's recent 4 to 2 decision against funding a second SRO position, he's telling the board to think what the district would do in the case of a mass shooting. It would be great. I mean, our schools are, you know, three quarters of a mile apart, and to have one person in between two is very hard for that person. Board President Andrew Brown, who is also a longtime police officer, sees this differently. The reality is, SROs do very little to prevent shootings. It would take close to $100,000 to fully fund another SRO position. The board president says mental health professionals and guidance counselors are just as important to creating a positive school climate and preventing violence. Kids overheard something in the mall, they called the school. Someone says something to a friend, they called the school. And the, either the state police, the North Salem police, or the Westchester County police respond and they've investigated these incidents over the years. The board president says it's very unlikely that the board is going to change their minds this time around. He does say, though, that uh, when they discuss next year's budget, they will seriously consider adding that second SRO. Uh, this year, though, uh, despite all the pressure that these parents tried to apply to the school board, it's just not happening. Ben Nandy, News 12.